Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and Happy Valentine's Day. We know that people have um, bonded over the Sudokus from this channel. I know that in the past. I know that people have uh, really enjoyed the things that uh, that we put out and got on better with their spouses as a result of that. But uh, we have had a number of puzzles themed on Valentine's Day, and this is another one. James Cop has often provided us puzzles themed on certain days, and he's done it again with this puzzle called Three Hearts. And you can see the hearts in the grid with the arrows through them. Now, um, Valentine's Day, so still six days to go of our um, competition, which is the quite approachable Sudoku. Do have a go at that. Um, and... Lots of stuff you can buy for your loved one on the channel, merchandise and apps. Uh, they're all in the links under the video, Sven Sudoku Pad, etc. And this puzzle is the first one, so have a look at it. If you do do it together with a loved one, leave a comment to that effect. It'd be lovely to read about that. But I am going to have a go at this now. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. Numbers along an arrow must sum to the number in the arrow's circle. So far, so normal. Two of the three orange dots are thermometer bulbs, and the third is the beginning of a palindrome. So these are different things. Okay, which dot is which is to be determined. The palindrome is ten digits long. I think these hearts are ten digits long, yes. And goes around one of the heart shapes. Okay, so that is the one of the green lines is a palindrome that starts, i.e. one end of it is in the, is in the orange circle. The numbers increase from the bulbs of the thermometers on both sides of the heart shape to the common end point at the base of the heart. Right, so that's the tip of the thermometer. So there's one thermometer going around there if this one is a thermometer bulb and another one going around there. Um, and we get one given digit. That's very generous, James. And that's it. So it's kind of like a liar puzzle. I suppose it's just a to-be-determined puzzle. One of these is a palindrome. Two, two of them, or rather, yeah, two of them have two thermometers each. So there are four thermometers and one palindrome in this puzzle. I have no idea how we go about this, but do give it a try if you fancy it. I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. And I literally have no idea. What on earth do we do? I suppose I mean if these were both palindrome uh, thermometers on the left would we get some sort of the, the length of the thermometer is six cells I don't know um ah okay the palindrome right let's take this as an example no, actually, let's take this one as an example. That looks more interesting. Right, this is the end point of a palindrome. If this, if this heart is a palindrome, this is the end point. Now, what is the end of a 10-cell palindrome? It's either... And this could mean either thing. It could be a palindrome in which there are six different digits. And both ends are the ends of six different, the, the, the sort of the four digits on the side are, yeah, and okay, that, that is not possible because these two ends are in the same column. That's the same for all the hearts, obviously. So the alternative reading is that though that these two cells are identical and the palindrome basically goes around this way and ends there. So this is the start and that's the end. Now, on this heart, it can't be that start and that end because they can't be the same. So here, those would be the same. That's possible. Those would be the same. Those would be the same. It probably works all the way. No, it doesn't. Those would be the same. That's fine. But then these would be the same. So this heart is not a palindrome because it would require either the two ends to be the same there or the two middles to be the same there. And and that's impossible. I think this one must be the same, isn't it? Either the two ends there, 
or I'm just going to redo it. Those would be the same. 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 And those would be the same. Yes. These two hearts are not palindromes. They are thermos. This is the palindrome. Now, which way round does it go? Ah, in this case, there is no shared box for that cell or for that one. So let's colour this. That's red. OK, I'm going to try going this way round first. So that's red as well as, as the end. Then we go yellow there, moving away from the red, then blue, uh, then orange, and then green. So that way round works. Now, what's the other way? This would, let, let's just undo that. This would be the other end, red. Then the next might be yellow. The next would be blue. The next would be orange. Oh, bother, that works as well. So we, we've identified the palindrome, but we don't know where its other end is. We know one end is there. Actually, OK, I'm going to bicolor these, these cells. So that is an end. Then this one might be the other red. I'm going to confuse myself here, but I'm going to try and do this. If those were both red, then these two are both the yellow. These two are both the blue. These two are both the orange. And these two are both the green. So, yeah. yeah. OK, well, that's interesting. So blue and yellow are a pair there. Blue and orange there. OK, I'm going to have to get back to that because I don't know... And we don't know any of the digits on the palindrome. There's no ordering. The ordering all comes over this side, where, OK, we now know that these cells, I can pencil mark these now, one, two, three, actually one, two, three there. And I'll tell you why I'm only using two degrees of freedom on the bulbs in a moment. But I think this is right. Four, five, six, seven five, six, seven, eight, but then not six, seven, eight, nine, but seven, eight, nine. Now, the reason that the bulb can't be a four is because both way rounds, you'd have to go five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you'd have clashes of the fives and the sixes and so on. Same reason this can't be a six, you'd have clashes of the fives there. That's a sort of stacking argument. So these bulbs are from one, two, and three. Okay. I'll tell you what that means. That means this bulb, this arrow, can't be a one, two, three arrow because it would clash with that. So this can't be a six. This is now seven, eight, or nine in the circle, which is a triple in the column. How bizarre. What on earth does that mean? Now, if this was a seven, this would be one, two, four. Ah. Oh. No. Hmm. What are we meant? To... Oh, look, we've nearly got three, four, five, six, seven. Well, that's five numbers, so they can't form a quadruple in column five and column one. What do they form? I have a feeling one of them... Surely one of these is going to be a 3, 4, 5, 6 set and the other's 4, 5, 6, 7. Why do I think that? Because, because of the bulbs and the tips, I think. That's why I think that. Yeah, these, can't, these tips can't both be 9. I mean, it's a fatuous thing to say, but it matters. The only way you could have sevens on both of these hearts would be if the tips were both nines. Because if you have a seven on either of these hearts, it must result in a nine in the tip. But both tips can't be nines, so one of the hearts doesn't have a seven. And I think the same is true for threes at the top. Because these can't both be ones, yes, the only way you get a three is if you have a one in the bulb, but they can't both be ones. That is right. So my instinct was right for once. And there is a three on one of these hearts in, in these columns one and five, and a seven on the other. 
And because there's a three on one of them, one of these is definitely a one. And because there's a seven on one of them, one of these is definitely a nine. And this is not a nine now. And that means there's a one on this arrow because seven and eight can't have two, three and four on the arrow. And that means now that we know there's a one on this arrow, this is not the one. We know that one of those two is a one and it's not this one. So this is the one. This is the one. You are the one. That is a perfectly appropriate Valentine's sentiment. Now, this is two or three, so those can't be twos. Those can't be threes. Yes, this is good. Those can't be fours. Those can't be fives. And that... Um, they can't both be sixes. So one of them's at least seven, and that can't be a seven. That is eight or nine. Now, up here, don't we know that one of these is a three? Yeah, because there was going to be a seven on one of these. That's... How did I work out? How do I know that one of these is a three? I think I do know it. Oh, because neither of... I don't know. Maybe that could still be the nine, if that was an eight. Seven, six, six, five, five, four. I don't want to make a false assumption, so I'm just going to leave this for now. Now, 7 or 8, we've got a 1. If it was 7, it would go 1, 2, 4. That would be a 3. Actually, that nearly breaks because that would put 5, 6 here, but that can be a 7 and get away with it just... Ah, but 7 would put a 2 or 4 here. Oh, I don't know what that means. We'd have a 2-4 pair. That would be 3. 7 seems to be the tight one that's difficult. Um, why? Why doesn't it work? I think there's a reason it doesn't work, but I can't quite encapsulate it. I don't think I'm meant to be looking at this heart, the palindrome heart at the moment. I don't know. I mean, if I am, if you can see something obvious there, I apologise, but I'm going to keep concentrating on this. Now, that cell is in the box with these. This is 2, 3, 4 or 5, because you can't get a bigger number on a 7, 8 arrow. What does that mean, if anything at all? This is also 2, 3, 4, or 5, so let's do that. So one of these is a 6. In this column, 6 has to be down here. And that means that's not a 6, which doesn't mean anything else. No, it means that's not a 6. Maybe I need to go back to thinking about this problem that I thought I had of why... If we don't have a 3 here, didn't I say we had to have a 3 in one of these positions? I suppose, yeah, the problem is, I don't know that either of those are a 7. That could be 5 and 6 at the moment. Ah. Yes, OK. The reason I cared about whether I knew whether either of these was a 7 was I don't think I've established where 9 is at the tip. It seems likely to be at the tip of the higher bowl, but that's not a fact yet. But I think I now have got it because of this 6 pairing. If that was 5 and 6, I'm positing that this is an 8, which I don't think it can be. But if it was an 8, this would have to be 5 and 6. This would be 7 and 6. This would be 5 and 6. But look, I just said this would be 7 and 6. This would be 5 and 6. And that would leave nowhere for 6 in those two cells. So that's not it. So this is not 8. This is very predictably the 9. And I'm just glad to have established it, actually. Now, this is 7 or 8. So these can't have an 8. These can't have a 7. I still think one of these has to be a 3, but I... 
my problem with that is just because I've proved, well, I haven't quite proved that there's a seven here even now. That's so weird. It feels like I have, but I haven't. That's a seven, eight pair. So I still don't know what this is. Oh, goodness. Um, two, three. One of those is two or three. The other one is four or five in any combination of seven or eight. Therefore, two and three have been used up in a virtual pair between those. These cells come from four, five and six. Does that help anything? One of them is a six. I don't think it does help. Ah, oh, this is... Am I missing two, three, four, five quad? Not quite. Um, is it to do with this rounding in the same box up here? What? I'm sure one of these two at the top is going to be a two and one of those is going to be a three. Seven or eight there. So, five, six or seven. Goodness. Um, if that's a five, then you get four here, three here. This would have to be three, six, wouldn't it? But if that's a seven, the, then it's not so harsh on that set. I'm still absolutely convinced there's a three in one of those cells and I cannot prove it. Even though I thought I'd virtually proved it earlier. If there wasn't a three in one of those cells, you'd have two sets of four, five, six, seven triples here. Oh, that's... <clears throat> still don't think I've proved it. Uh, it feels very restricted, but not quite enough. This is seven or eight. Um, seriously, if you can see what's going on here, jump forward to where I do something else in the puzzle, because I can't at the moment. I'm sure there's something going on that's incredibly helpful. I mean, I just don't think... This is not a thermo. This is a palindrome. I don't see how I can bring that into it yet. I'm not going to. I'm going to figure this out now. If that was a seven, we'd have one, two, four here. That would be a three. So if that was a seven, we'd have four, five here, five, six. There's a pair there. That would have to be seven. That would have to be eight. bet this is a two. Ah, oh, it's interesting though. If this is a two, that has to be a three, four pair with an eight there and a seven here. Yeah, that doesn't work, does it? If that's a three, four pair, oh no, I was going to say that makes this a five, but they're not both seeing that cell. Six here. If it was one, two, five here. Oh, I cannot see the next step. One of those is probably a six. Do we know that four has been used there? No, I don't know. I'm looking at this four and thinking, can I use it? Just don't think I can at the moment. Now, come on, Mark. Come on. Think about this. If that was a four, you'd go three, two. That would have to be a five. 
That would be an eight. That would be a seven. Now, if this was a seven, maybe that is the problem. If that was a seven, you'd have a five, six pair here, a five, four pair here. Four three pair here, and a two three, yeah, three two pair up here. I can't see why that doesn't work. Come on, don't be slow. Something here is definitely, <clears throat> definitely resolved, and I cannot work it out. Is it because I've taken six out of those cells? Have I not known? Oh, maybe something I haven't put in here. Nine has to be in one of those. And the other one of eight or seven. <clears throat> I don't think that resolves anything. Okay, let's go back to wondering why I believe there has to be a three in one of these. Why is that? Because otherwise there'd be four, five. That would be five, six. This would be six and seven, and that would be eight. Oh, it's something to do with these maxima and minima. Honestly, you get one or two numbers in the grid and then it just falls apart. Oh, my, sorry, what I mean is my reasoning falls apart rather than I see the logic of the whole puzzle, which I absolutely don't, as you can see. Right, let's think about, let's try and think about something else. This arrow just doesn't look useful. I just don't know which way round that palindrome goes. It might be of interest if I did. I mean, there must be an orange in each of those. So there's going to be an orange up here to match those. I don't think that's any use at all. There must be blue in those, so there's a blue down here. But again, it doesn't, that does nothing for me. Two. Two has to be in those cells. Does it? No, it doesn't. It could be there. And then that's a three, four pair. And that's a five, six pair. Okay, if this was a three, what happens down here that's a problem? We've got four, five, five, six, six, seven, which we'd know the order of, in fact. That would have to be a six. So if that's a three, that's a six, five, four. Then this one would have to go four, three, two. I don't know. It, it, it's right on the cusp of telling me something. What is going on? That's nearly a 2, 3, 4, 5 quad. If that wasn't 6, this would be a 2, 3, 4, 5 quad. If this was seven, that seems to be the most constrained case. We get a two four pair, that becomes three. If that's seven, that becomes eight, which actually might make it the least, const the less constrained case. So maybe if that's eight, we've got a problem. Then we get seven here six five. 5-4, so that couldn't be a 5-2 pair. That would have to be a 4-3 pair. And the 3 would be here, and the 4 would be here. That's interesting now. So if this is 7, we've got 6-5 and 5-4, ruling out 5 from the arrow. So the arrow would have to be 4-3, and with 5-4 there, you'd get a 4 here. That makes that five, six. Seven and eight are fixed. Four here, this would be a three. And you've got a five, four pair here. So that would have to be five, 
four, two. There's a three there. Ah, oh, okay, that doesn't work. Now this is, this may be the most complicated way of seeing this possible, and there may be easier ways, but it doesn't work. So, if this is a seven, it's going to get very difficult. And that's because we get six, five here, six, five in these positions, and five, four in those positions. That rules out a five here. Given that we've got an eight here, this has to be four, three. And given that there's a four, five pair here, we have a three here and a four here. Now this three is going to give us a problem because then we have to have five, four, two here, two there, remember, but the three is also putting a four here so that you can have a five here, and that requires a two there as well, and finally the twos clash. My goodness, if that's how you're meant to figure this out, James, that is brutal, brutal, brutal. But anyway, that does prove this can't be a 7. That's an 8. This is a 7. Now, this is a 2-4 pair. 4 comes out of here. That's a 5-6 pair. This is 7. Well, at least we get some go forward a little bit from here. That 2-4 pair, what does that do? Or this being an 8? I don't know. And maybe the go forward I was just boasting about. Oh, that can't be an 8 anymore. This can't be a 7, so this can't be a 6, and this can't be a 5. Now I've got a 3, 4, 5, 6 quad that I was looking for. So this has to be a 3. Yes, and this can't be a 3. So this can't be a 4, this can't be a 5. And I've got a 4, 5, 6 triple. This can't be a 5 anymore. That's 2, 3, or 4. This is a 2, though, above the 3. So that's not a 2. Oh, come on. Keep going. Keep going. 2 is there. So this is a 3. Yes. 4, 5, 6, 7. And this can't be 3 or 4. So that's 5, 6 there. Now we are finishing off the hearts on the left. 4 there. This can't be 5 or 7, actually. 6 there, 7 there, 2 and 4, and I can do this 5 and 6. There we go. That's the, Well, there we go for the first part of the puzzle. That's the hearts on the left done. My goodness, I struggled with that. I don't know if you need that. You know, it is. I know that's close to a bifurcation. You really have to imagine some way ahead there. Right, 8 in the box 1 has to be there. That's a 6-9 pair. One or two there. Six, seven, three. One of those is a nine. Now, I'm trying to do as much as I can over here before I look across at the, the palindrome heart because that scares me significantly. Um, ooh, there's a four in one of those cells. Six, I don't know, six is somewhere up there. Now, what have I got across here? Six, six. Six in one of those. Five in one of those. It's not a bulb. Ah, but that can't be a five because its partner on the palindrome must be in one of those cells. Neither of them can be a five, so that's not five. Oh, and this can't be five, can it? Its partner is either yellow there, and that can't be a 5, or blue there, and that can't be a 5. So that's not a 5 either. So we actually get a... Good grief, we're going to have to do it that way. Can this 6, it either has a blue partner there, which can't be a 6, or an orange partner there, which can't be a 6. So no, that can't be a 6. I sincerely doubt that it's this on the on the arrow, but I suppose it could go with a 1 to make 7. Even with the... No, it can't go with the two. Mm. Now, that's not a four. Can this be a four? Its partner would be there, which couldn't be, or there, which can't be. Yes, that can't be a four. So four in row six is definitely here. This is a tough way of going about this. And I don't have any more pairs looking across the grid like that four and five. Right, three there. Can this be a three? Or can this? 
don't have such constraints on threes, so yes, they can. I've got a six in one of those cells, and that's forming an X-wing with a six there, which is going to give me a six up there somewhere in column three. I've, oh, that I've also got a seven in these cells. Look, it's a seven-six pair, so that's a six-seven pair. Five is in one of those two in the bottom row now, Nine, and eight somewhere along there. So this isn't, oh, look at that pencil marking of fours there with a given, hopeless. Um, so we can put in four there, I hadn't realised that. Actually now lets us put in four here as well. I'm going to finish all the fours in the grid with that one. There we go. One, two and three to place here. That is one or two, which is part of a pair and an unhelpful one. Oh, five is ruled. At, yes, I know. I've marked five as in one of those. It's also in one of those. So, five is not on this palindrome anywhere, nor is four. Is that helpful? I don't think so. I still don't know which way round it goes. Maybe I should. Maybe I should have been doing colouring, but. That would be approachable as a method if I had any idea which way around the palindrome went. And I still... Is there a way to know that? I don't think... I haven't got enough cells marked that I can know that any one of them is not any of the nine digits. So I just don't think that's a way of doing it. Seven, six, four, nine. this more useful? Eight must be here somewhere. That's not helpful. <laughs> Can I use the arrow? Small numbers aren't constrained out of it. That's the annoying thing. This can't be a six or two, four or five. But I mean, it could still be a three or seven, eight, nine. I don't see why it's not any of those. It could be. Oh, and now I've got some more certain digits. Right. Blue has to be 3, 6, or a 1, 2 pair. No, it's not 6. Look, the possibility places for blue are all here. So it can't be 6. And it can't be 3, because one of those is blue. They can't be 3 or 6. So blue is this cell. 1 or 2 is blue. But I don't know whether it's there and there or there and there. But that was interesting. What about orange? Orange in those cells has to be either four, which it can't be, seven or this, which is one, two or nine. Can orange be seven? I mean, my instinct is yes, it can easily. That was interesting. Okay, if blue is one or two, this can't add up to three because there is no blue on those two cells. So this circle is unsurprisingly seven, eight, or nine. But it doesn't use four and five, so it must use a low digit, be it one, two, or three. And it doesn't use blue. <laughs> I'm going to totally confuse myself with colours. Oh, good grief, what is going on here? I suppose this is one, two, three, or eight. No, it's not two, because that's ruled out in this row. So it's one, three, or eight. And it goes into one of those cells. Can this be six? Quite easily, I think. Oh, three, three. So three's in one of these two cells, and it could be there, in which case it's either red three or yellow three. No, that's not. Yeah, but it could be red three there and there. That would put a three in one of these cells, and that's fine. 
Oh, this is a head wrecker. That is one or nine by elimination of the other possibilities. I just want to know which way round the palindrome goes. Then I can do the puzzle, surely. Now, what about other matches? I did try to do blue and orange. It's very hard to do red. I mean, I guess we know red is one, three or eight. But I don't know which of these is that red. If it was eight, that would definitely put one. Ah, oh, if it was three, this would be a nine. If it's eight, this would be a nine. If it's one, though, you could have six or seven here, which gives the other two possibilities a go there. Ah, how about knowing that blue is one or two? Okay, so this is the other one or two. Let's make it purple. Not because I think blue and purple are good contrast, just because I haven't used purple on the uh, on the palindrome heart. So blue's in one of those two positions, and there. How can we use that? Ooh, so if that was a one, it wouldn't be blue, it would be purple. And then we'd have a purple there and one over here, and that's fine. Gosh, I don't think the purple's actually doing any useful thing for me here. Blue's in one of those places. Come on, that's blue and purple. That doesn't do anything. Right, nine, eight, or seven. Now I've got to think about these. They don't have to be this. Whatever blue is, is one or two. We know that. So one of these is one or two. In both cases, one of them is a low, really low number. Now, orange is seven or one, two or nine. Green. Green can't be any of the other numbers in these rows. So it can't be three, four, five, six or seven. And it's not the same as blue for what that's worth. But it can still be one, two, eight, or nine. My goodness, this is complicated. Um, oh, that nearly means this can't be nine, eight, one, because green would have to be two. But it doesn't quite stop it. Um, six, seven, there, four, five. Five somewhere up here. James, what are you putting me through here? This is madness. One, three, or eight. If it was there, it can't be. If it's a three, that's the three. And if it's a three, this is a six and this is a nine. So we'd have three, nine, six, five, two, four. This would have to be one or eight. So would that, and you'd get a seven here. And I don't see why that's a problem. That's all based on this being a three, you end up with a seven there. And that's because three is the only number that is actually ruled out of one of these two places, which is maddeningly annoying. <clears throat> now, if it's an eight, you can't put an eight in here because it'll reflect into one of those. So you'd have to put an eight there. That's going to give an eight here in column five. Eight in one of those two places, it doesn't really resolve anything. 
Does it? I don't think it does. Okay, what about three here? Which would then have to be the red. If that's a three, red is three. Then you get a three down here. A three here, because you can't have one reflecting from row five, column five. Three in one of those cells. <laughs> it's fine. Every possibility works. That is so infuriating. Um, six, five, four, three. Blue could still be seven if it was there. No, it couldn't. Blue can't be seven. It can't be three, four, five, six. Oh, we know blue's one or two. Good grief, I can't even remember that. Purple. How could that be purple? If that was purple, it can't be blue because it reflects into those two positions and they both see blue. So that's not blue. So if it's one or two, it's purple. Then that's purple. One of those two is purple, which is a weird place. I don't know. I'd give a lot to know whether this is nine. It would be really helpful if that was a one, I think. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't. Oh, it would. It would be purple then. That would be helpful. What about this? Can't be eight, three, seven, two, four, or six. Not interesting. Just looking around desperately hoping for some inspiration. Am I missing something really obvious? These thermos, they've finished. Don't see that they're giving me anything else. This is one, two, or nine. Let's try that. These can't be three, four, five, six. Ah. Can they be seven or eight? I suppose that could be eight on yellow. But could it? Then red would have to be one. Red would have to be one. That would be a nine. Oh. This can't be the way to have to work it out. So I'm I'm looking at these blues, and I know they can't be seven, four, six. Well, they can't be eight because eight. I was trying to work out whether this can. Sorry, whether this possible yellow cell can be an eight. Then you get eight here. Ah, and that is impossible to put eight there in column seven because it will reflect into another of the greens. Right, so neither of these, including the yellow, can be eight. Neither, oh, can that be seven if it's not blue but orange? That puts a seven here. Oh, I'll tell you what, one of these is seven or eight because otherwise it's a one, two, nine quadruple, which makes no sense. And I've just ruled out eight from there. So this is seven. And we now know that that can't be reflecting blue into there. So it's reflecting orange into there. Good grief. I don't know if that's how you're meant to do it, but it's how I've done it. And this is going to give us a lot. That can't be orange. That is blue now. That can't be blue. That is yellow. That is red. So this is one, three or eight in the red. What about this? No, what about blue? Can't be three, four, five, seven, six, or eight. Oh, we know blue is one or two. We've, we've done that over here. Um, so that's a one, two, nine triple now, and we get an eight in the column. Wow, what a way to unblock. Um, these are from one, two, three, or five, which is not helpful. What about purple? That hasn't done anything. Right, let's have a look at green. One, two, eight, or nine. Can green be purple? 
yes. Yes is the maddening answer. Um, no, it would have to be there. I think green can be purple. What about this yellow? Can't be five, two, four, seven, or six. It's not enough. Come on, surely knowing the palindrome's order must help. Must. What about blues? That's not blue. I don't know. I don't see how this has got it all done. It just hasn't. Um... No, this can't be eight anymore because that would leave that to be five or seven. That's interesting. Now, if it was seven, this is six. If it's nine, this is one, six. Ah, oh, that can't be eight anymore. No, it can. It's one, six, or eight. No, it can't be eight. It's one or six, but that still leaves all of these possibilities. Nine, eight, one, nine, three, six, seven, one, six. Yes, they're all possible. But this is one, six, or in this position. And we've got one or two on the right of the grid. What is going on here? Nearly got a one, two, nine triple across the middle. Six, four, seven, five. Where does three go? Three goes in one of those two cells in box five, and one of those two in box eight. This can't be six anymore, because it matches that one. In fact, it can't be two, four, five, six, or seven, or three, because that's in the box there. So it's one, eight, or nine. I might as well pencil that in. Oh, and where does yellow go in this box if it's one, eight, or nine? It goes here. Um, right. Therefore, it's in one of these two cells. Oh, somewhere up here. Ah, it could have been more. Oh, no, there or there is yellow. Maybe I can rule out one of these now. <laughs> I mean, it's picking off pieces bit by bit. I think that it is the only way I can find to go about this. If that was a three, I'd love to prove it's not a three, because then I'd get a three there. And if it was a three, we get a three in one of these places, so that doesn't prove anything. Goodness, it's a clever puzzle, this, but it isn't easy. And if it is, I am terrible at it. Does eight have to be yellow or green? Or can that be eight? Still got to remember that green could be purple. I suspect yellow could still be purple as well. I mustn't forget that. Um, Is it really about this arrow? Have I, have I meant to be able to resolve? Oh, look, yes, I can place seven in this box. Oh, sorry if you've been screaming that at me. Bam, there it goes. So that gives me six here. That's not a six. Now, one of these is a seven. Do I know it's there? I don't think I do. So maybe that wasn't all that helpful to get that. Eight, seven. That is one five or nine, just by elimination. Um, a five must appear in one of these cells. So that's not five, and that is. So this is one, one or three. It can't be two, so one of those is two, and that's not. Two is definitely in one of those places. This is one, three, or nine. 
Oh, we're getting close now. Closer and closer. Hasn't changed the possibilities here at all. Seven is in one of those. What, yeah, maybe this box is better. Three's in one of those. Seven's in one of those. Eight, one, six. Six is down to being in one of those. Oh, look, that seven has fixed six, seven. That puts this as a six. And that's going to fix this arrow. No, it's going to take eight out of red. That's all it does. God, putting a six on an arrow, not fixing it. That's cruel. Oh, and I've put a four here, which doesn't look right. Let's just go back and see what... I put a seven there and somehow overtyped it as a four. But this is a six. That's still right. And this is not... I think my finger slipped on the seven and hit four as well. This is not eight now. That's not eight. That's still right. Okay. Um, one, three, two down here. Seven, six, four, five, eight. Come on, keep going. One of these is blue. This can't be blue because that would need that to be blue. And blue can't be the same as yellow. So that's not blue. So in the bottom row, blue is here and is a one or a two. So we know where three is now. Come on, that's a three as well, and that is not. Um, what does that do? Three, eight, five, seven, six, five. I live in fear of these deductions not actually giving me much information after straining to make them. Right, one of those is purple. That is a purple and blue pair, obviously. This can't be blue. So now blue's in one of those two cells. Doesn't mean this is purple, because that could be purple and blue. Seven is there, and this is a nine in the circle. So three is red. Wow, that took a bunch, didn't it? Let's colour those red and see if that helps any understanding. Yes, red is there. It does help me. For some reason, sometimes you can see better in colour. Um, or in Kodachrome. Now, if that's not a three, still don't know whether purple is another colour. Probably is. Um, that can't be eight. So eight's in one of those two cells in this box. Therefore, eight's in one of those two cells. Come on, eight's in one of those two cells. Ah, oh, five's not in one of those two cells. It's not in that one. I think that's been available for a while. So five is there. This is one or eight by elimination. Oh, this can't be nine. So that's a one eight pair and that's a nine. This is a one five pair at the top. That's a six. We can finish row three with a seven. This is now a two six eight triple. Do I know anything about them? Oh, oh yes, I know those can't be sixes. So that's the six. Um, let's uncolor the sevens because I know what they are. They don't really matter to me anymore. Could probably do the threes as well, but I was quite pleased with that, so not. Um, one five pair. No, green can't be nine now. Um, that can't be nine because we've got a nine at the top of the grid. So that is purple. Now, I was going to put purple there, but it could still be green, couldn't it? So that doesn't actually help. Blue has to be in one of those cells, so it's in one of these. <laughs> really inching painfully towards a conclusion here. One, two, or nine there. Let's fill them in. Let's remove the six pencil mark. One, two, eight, or nine. I don't see... Which one that's not. Now, got a five X-wing. Oh, come on. This must be now finished. I must be just missing some very obvious inference.
it in the palindromes or the ones and twos or what? That yellow is not, according to that, it's not a nine. So the nine in the central box is here. That's not a nine. So we've got nine in box eight. That is now blue, which means, oh, it doesn't tell me which of those is blue. Or well, one of them's, ah, oh, purple is in one of those cells. So that can't be one or two. Does that help? I don't think it does. That's extraordinary. Oh, it does. Look, that's a one, two, eight, triple. This is a nine. Oh, and that nine has looked into that cell. Right. So this one I'm in is purple. Um, this is purple, is it? Yeah, it's not a nine. It's one or two. It is purple. That might help. Yes, green is purple. Hurrah. So it's not eight. It's one or two. Purple, purple. That's purple. And now, not only do we know that it's purple, we know that it's a one. And I will be filling in all the purples in one go right now. Bam. And the blues are twos. And they can go in as well. And now we're just finishing off. Thank goodness that has taken a while. What an extraordinary puzzle. I mean, that is attritional Sir Sudoku. 259 down here, 29. Here we go. Come on, puzzle. Yes, looks good to me. That is a tough puzzle of three hearts. I mean, I thought the hard work was early on. Uh, it turns out deducing which one was the palindrome was relatively trivial. And I say that slightly tongue in cheek. What a clever puzzle. Thanks so much, James. But uh, wow, that's a workout. Thank you for watching as always and uh, hope to see you again soon. Happy Valentine's Day. Do leave us the stories of how you met over today. We'd love to read them. But as it is, bye for now.